you, Lista TV, for inviting me and spend some time with me. Second time or third time in Korea? Second time. Second time. Yeah. Ah, in 2022. First time was a quite dramatic for me, yeah. right? Uh, for, for us as Italian, we, were, we lost against Korea in the World Cup. And uh, it uh, was a big hit for us. But you know, it's a sport, this is football. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lost. Uh, how did you feel at the time? Well, we were confident, to be honest, because we, have, we had a great team, in my opinion. One of the best teams that we can have. And we came from a difficult stage in Japan, the mm -hmm. qualification, and we moved here for the, for the, for the match against Korea. And uh, took a, a, good, a good way on our side. We, we, we went 1-0, uh, and then uh, Korea came back, and with uh, really a lot of rumors about the referees and other <laughs> stuff. They, we are still talking in Italy about uh, uh, referee Moreno. But at the end of the day, we, we need to move forward. And, uh, and we take a big revenge four years later in 2006. Uh, and we won the World Cup, so we, we cannot complain that much. <laughs> do, you, do you remember the specific player of Korea at the time? Yeah, there's uh, more than one, especially the guy that scored the 2 1 ah. <laughs> play in Perugia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, a, it's a great memory for you guys. Uh, for us, unfortunately, a really bad uh, page of our yes. historic uh, games. But again, we need to move forward and go and go forward to new things and new ideas and try to not to remove because it's part of our experience and my experience as well, and then move on. Okay. I have a lot of memories for with my teammates in the national team. We have great teammates. Uh, from day one that I wear the Italian jersey. Definitely the World Cup in 2006 was the best one because we won. And again, the game against Germany was the most emotional. Yes. It was crazy emotional. We, you know, we end up on the extra time. We 0-0 till 119 minutes and then we score. And then I scored the second goal yes. and the game was over. And finally we reached the final. Uh, that was a, a full emotion in you know in five six minutes, and definitely was one of my best memory in the Italian jersey. How was the feeling of winning the World Cup? But to be honest, you, you can't describe ah, yes. exactly what it means. It's a it's a full not full page, full book of emotions, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a, it's insane how complete you felt in that moment as a sports guy, you know, as a sport football players. And it's a unique feeling, it's because you represent your country, you're in front of all the world, so it's, it's, it's massive, it's big. Which is the better, winning the World Cup or winning the World Cup Champions League? The World Cup has a different vibes, definitely. Mm -hmm. I won both in the moment uh, that maybe, the moment that I won the Champions League was the most important thing that I won, of course, and the most beautiful. And then from that I, I moved to the national team. Yeah. So let's say they give me the the boost to go to the national team and then but yeah winning the World Cup is absolutely magic. Yeah. In childhood who well, which player is the your uh, role model? I was, uh, as a child, I was a Juve fan. Yes. So at um, that time Juve was represented from the team that, you know, all the Italian players of that team won the World Cup in 82. They won the World Cup in 82. Uh, six of them. Zoff, Shirea, Cabrini, Gentile, these guys. And then move on, you know, because I'm a kind of striker, number 10. Yeah. Of course I was looking for a number 10. And number 10 was Michel Platini. Ah, so Michel Platini. That, that's, that was a, a guy that I have a, a poster in my camera, ah. in my bedroom. That period was really tough. It was really tough. A relegation for you was never ha never happened before. It was an incredible chaos, and, and we didn't know what's going to happen. So 
at that moment I say, well, it doesn't matter what's going to happen, I'm going to stay. This is what my words to the owner. And uh, he called me at the phone and said, yeah, don't, don't, you don't need to ask me things. I'm going to stay. I'm a captain. I'm already here for a long time. I want everything uh, I felt that was good. And I'm still feeling that was good. It was a great choice. I'm not regret for that. How about the feeling uh, promote to the Serie A at the time? We, we start that season with the, with the huge problems, yeah. huge problems everywhere, you know. And within the club, outside the club, you know, was was massive, was chaos, total chaos. But slowly we fix one by one. And we start the championship and, and, and we won that championship even though we have so many minus points on the, on the stand at the beginning. So that was an incredible game, an incredible season for us. And um, I enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. It was a mission to accomplish and uh, we did it. Uh, what does Juventus mean to you? Huge. Well, Juventus means uh, a lot for me because mm -hmm. As a professional player, I played 19 years with them. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, a, it's a life. Ah, it's a life. It's a life together. Mm -hmm. So, and we did everything. I mean, we top the rich, we reached the world, and, and we, <laughs> we went to yes, the hell. Yes. Then we came back. And we won a lot. Sometimes mm -hmm. we lost, but majority of the time we won. Mm -hmm. So that's it's a great thing. Okay. As a player, you make the Del Piero job. Yeah. How does it make it? I was playing completely free and mm -hmm. it happened that I started scoring on the same, from the same spot. Yes. The, the year that we won the Champions League, mm -hmm. during the Italian League and, and, uh, and on and on. So that, that kind of shot that turned on the second post. So that's why people start to say, oh, that's whatever this guy go in that zone uh, is going to kill the, the goalkeeper and going to make goals. And they call the Pier zone. Of course, I was super happy about that. Ah, you yes. know, <laughs> they recognize you all, even for these kind of things. So, yeah. I mean, I was part of the Italy team till 2006 in Italy. Ah, every, every, every player were amazing. Every player wanted to come to Italy to play. Yeah. And we had the best player in that era. Ronaldo and Zidane was, were the best players outside Italy, and they went to play in Italy. Mm -hmm. So Defty, Zidane, I play with. Ronaldo, I play against. Uh, two amazing champions, really, out of control. Um, and, but also in, in our Italian team, I start, when I started playing, Baggio was the, the last years of his career. Uh, you know, Maldini was still playing. I played with him in the national yes, team. Yes. Roman Dini was a huge. So, there's so many. Yes. So, how so is Atric actually? It's a really great, great place. I hope he's going to end up winning this year something because he deserves it after a long time at Tottenham. So, good luck to him. I also met him two oh. years ago. I went to the training camp uh, ah. when Conte was a coach. Yes, yes. And uh, I met him. He is uh, him, Harry Kane, and all the team actually. Yes. So after the training uh, that they had, and uh, he's a really nice guy. Last year I met Conte. Yeah. In, uh, like this situation. Okay. Yeah. How about you? Conte is an interesting guy. He's yeah. a very interesting coach. I mean, uh, very demanding. Uh, but definitely a good coach, in my opinion, yes. Even as a player, was a guy that was taking seriously every single aspect of the game. You know, alimentation and uh, rest and all these things. So, I'm not surprised uh, him as a coach, as a characteristics, uh, you know, a personality that he has. Because he was like this also as a, as a player. People got surprised, oh, he's so tough, he's so, yeah, but it was the same when we were playing, and <laughs> same, same. so for, for us that we know him, it's not a, a surprise. Yeah, I, I read uh, Andrea Pirlo's book, mm. Andrea Pirlo, he described the Conte, uh, crazy man. Crazy man. Crazy man. <laughs> well, he think about football 24 hours a day, yes. definitely. So, maybe, 
maybe because of that. Okay, you, you remember the play who played in Napoli? Of course uh, I remember, of course, Kim. I, I remember so well because, you know, he, he did an incredible season. Oh, yes. He's so good. I like him a lot. Mm. Now, as a player, as a characteristic, I knew it was fast, it was good with the feet, uh, even courage, strong with the head, and, and really positive uh, leadership. But uh, coming to Italy in a new team, adapting a new country, yes. as he did, with that personality, with that way to play, well, it was impressive. It was really impressive. And um, I'm happy for him that he's con continued to grow. So he's doing great in, in, at Bayern, and I wish him the best. He take a place of great player in Napoli, Koulibaly, mm -hmm. so everybody have a dub, you know. Oh, we sell the best yeah. defender in Italy. We sell them, and, and we get Kim. Who is this guy? And this guy came and put everybody in silence yeah. because he was the best defender that the league uh, saw. So congratulations to him. Of course, yes. Yes. I'm yes. 40. I'm 48 ah. years old. If they're gonna offer me a job as a player, I'm gonna go. Uh, but uh, yeah. if you are 30 years old or 29 years old. Well, it's very tough to mm. to tell what is right, what is not right. I made choices. My career was one example. Other players yes. made other example. You know, I move. Uh, outside UA when I was 37. So I believe at some point everybody has to deal with, the, with their own interests and, and their own things, including yes. the, their own responsibility. Yes. So yes. it's a complex thing, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Yes. Well, I got invited from racing group and we are looking for a game also the 21 1st of October. So I really hope we, uh, we, can, we can do something more. Okay, okay. Uh, last question. Uh, yeah. Please, hello to Easter TV's friends. Yeah, yeah. Straight to the camera? Yes, yes. Okay. So thank you, Lista TV, for inviting me and spend some time with me. Uh, and uh, say hello to every fans, every football fans in Korea, especially, of course my fans. Uh, a big hug to everyone and hope to see you soon. Ciao.